Crosby, Clockwork Cross, the my baddest of my creation. You are watching in art media. They're all individuals, like we all have our own heartbeats and they're all beating separately at their own rhythm. When I first started making the clocks, I was inspired by the movie A Shoe on the Loop. Right, and when you listen to it, you can hear all them clicking together. And when I first watched the film, they cut the eye of this woman. And it wasn't really her eye, it was a pig's eye, but the act of cutting the clock on the face to make the clock itself was a surrealist act. Because this is when you still had its innocence. <laughs> so they're a little bit small then, they haven't grown their dials out yet. I had uh, a Mesa Zaire staring at me, and I had Salvador Dali staring at me, and I had Zora Neale Hurston staring at me, either as a hero or an iconic figure, but of different ones from pop icons to literary figures. They're supposed to pull out emotion out of people. And the ticks started getting louder and louder and louder. And I started wondering what kind of creation and monster I was awakening. You almost look at them and they're looking back at you. And my roommate woke up and said, can you, you know, can you pull the batteries out of them? It brings out something that's going to motivate you to do something. Art is the little bitty picture in your mind that you're able to create in front of your eyes. So when you look at Muhammad Ali and you know, you're ready to, to float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, the meaning of life is being born. You're gonna see something in him that you wanna emulate to draw the emotion out of people, to directly affect their lives. When you hear the click, and when you see the face of somebody that you look up to, you emulate that. Whether it's a comedian, an activist, or someone you just like to look at, they are looking back at you. We, everyone has the nightmares of being naked somewhere, you know, showing up or having, you know, your best friend and your girlfriend getting it on. You're like, what's going on? Came upstairs to find the bouncer with his knee in this guy's neck. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And he said, look over here. And I looked on the ground and it was a Muhammad Ali clock all broken and smashed up. Uh, well, my grandma's kind of crazy because she had Alzheimer's. So she kept forgetting things, but like she would put like things in the stove and then leave the stove on, but not regular things that you're supposed to put in the stove, like meatloaf, it's like, you know, toaster oven in the, in the oven. You're like, what are you doing? Pretty nuts, but you know, my grandmother was crazy, just like me. So he was looking at the clock and he said that it was taunting him. So he ripped the clock off the wall, crumpled it up and smashed the whole piece. Salvador Dali, surrealist movement. As far as clocks that I've made, when I did Harold Hunter for Max Fish Show, and I had all the clocks up at the top, and all his friends who remembered him being at that bar would come in and look at it, that really, that gave me something else, because it was something that I could see really meant a lot to people. The best pet could possibly be, uh, not a clue, a treble?